If you are a content creator or someone that just works a lot on the go, then chances are that the Asus Zen Screen Go might be the monitor for you. With the built-in battery and the ability to connect to other devices wirelessly, really does make it ideal to use anywhere and with its size, it can fit into almost any bag, making it really easy to travel with you to presentations or meetings. Now, all of that sounds really good, but how does the Asus Zen screen perform? And is it a monitor that you should actually go and invest in? So let's take a look and see if this monitor is for you. The Asus Zen Screen Go is a portable 15.6 inch Full HD display that offers a lot of ways to not only connect to this monitor, but also a wide range of use cases as well. The Asus Zen Screen Go has a small ergonomic design, it is really thin and lightweight, and it also has its own built-in stand, meaning that you don't actually have to carry anything along with this monitor to be able to use it at its full capacity in any situation that you may need it. Now, the Asus Zen Screen Go can connect to external devices either via USB-C, HDMI mini, but they do actually include an HDMI mini to HDMI connection. So if you do have a device that connects via HDMI cable, then you don't have to actually go out and buy an adapter or a different cable that has an HDMI mini port on the one side. You can just use it as is. And then it also allows for wireless connection via your laptop, tablet, or your smartphone. And if you wanna know how to connect to all of these, it actually has a handy display on the screen itself when you're in the wireless connection mode, showing you how to connect using all of these devices. Now this does come in really handy, especially since all of the devices use different ways of connecting to the screen itself. So you don't have to actually go on and remember how all of these devices connect to the screen. All you need to do is just actually turn on the monitor, put it on wireless connection mode, and it will display how you can connect a certain device to the screen itself. Now this monitor does have a 15.6 inch full HD 60 Hertz display with an anti-glare coating. So it does work well in most lighting situations. It has flicker-free technology as well as a blue light filter, which is really easy on your eyes. It also has a 100% sRGB color space, making it really great for video and photo editing. And the screen itself can also auto orientate thanks to the G sensor that is built in, meaning that you can use this monitor both in vertical and horizontal, depending on your use case. Now to switch between connection types, change your brightness, or even change the volume of the two built-in one watt speakers, you have a built-in joystick that you can use to control all of that. And if you wanna know what each of the directions actually change, all you need to do is actually press in the joystick, just like you should press the like and subscribe on this video. It really does help the channel out a lot. And if you like tech and gaming reviews, then this is the place for you. Now the battery in this device is a 7,800 milliamp hour battery and it should be able to power the screen for around three and a half hours. And from using it for the last week or so, I have been able to confirm that it does last quite a long time and it shouldn't be an issue if you're using this device every now and then on the battery itself. So who is the ideal audience for this display? According to ASUS, it is mobile business users, entertainment seekers, and home workers. So let's kind of dive deeper into all of these categories. And let me share who I also think could fit into all of those categories. Firstly is mobile business users. And for me, that is anybody who maybe travels to work, whether that is outside of the country, inside of the country, or just to different clients or different offices and needs a monitor to be able to display either presentations or just general information to either other colleagues or clients. And it can also include content creators who maybe work on the move, whether that is just someone who's going outside to either work in a coffee shop or at a friend's house and you need a second screen to actually work with your laptop. Now, what makes it really good for all of these people is that it has the built-in battery as well as the good color space. So if you're a content creator and you're using it to edit videos or pictures and you're on the go, then you can easily use this monitor to have as a very color accurate monitor to do all of that. And if you're a business person, you can use it in any other orientation that you may need, whether you wanna show documents or if you just wanna show an entire presentation. And since you do have the built-in battery, you can just take it wherever you are and just place it anywhere on any table and you don't have to worry about connecting it to power itself. In terms of entertainment seekers, this can be used for anybody either gaming at home or somebody who travels a lot for work once again and maybe want a monitor that they can use to actually game on. Now for the last week or so, I've been testing it with my PS5, connecting it via HDMI, and it works extremely well with that. But of course, you can also connect your smartphone wirelessly to the screen and use it for mobile gaming. So then you can just use your smartphone to actually control the game and have this bigger display to actually watch the game on. 
Now, just to add, this display isn't the quickest on the market. It does have a five millisecond response time, which is still very comparable to many displays on the market right now. So just bear in mind that if you're looking for something that's one millisecond for gaming, then you may need to look at a different device. And then lastly, home workers are sort of the same thing for me as mobile business users. And there is a lot of overlap there, but I think the biggest differentiation between home workers and mobile business users is the fact that home workers mainly use their home as their setup and sometimes only have a laptop or a certain amount of space that they can actually work in. So this device makes it really ideal as it takes not a lot of space and it also is easy to just use anywhere, whether it's on a dining room table or in the kitchen, and you don't have to have power at all times since you can use it on battery. And if you have a laptop, you can connect it wirelessly, meaning you don't have to have a ton of cables in your limited space that you already have at home. Now, if you're gonna be using this as your main second monitor at home, then you can invest in a tripod as it does have a tripod mount at the back. So you can easily connect a tripod to it and elevate it a little to make it a little bit more comfortable to use for extended periods of time. Now, overall, for all these people, this monitor is a way to improve productivity and it makes it really easy to do so. Now, even though there is a lot of examples used in this video, as well as by ASUS on how you can use this monitor, I do believe that the use of this monitor is very much limited to what you and your creativity can actually think of. Now, while using this monitor for the last couple of weeks, there never really was a case where I felt like this monitor didn't perform as well as it should have or as well as it could have. And in all of the situations that I've tested it out, it performed extremely well and I was really satisfied with how it actually performed. For me, I absolutely love how easy it is to use this device, how easy it is to connect to different types of connections as well. And for me, I've mainly used this to watch Netflix on the couch next to my fiance while she watches her own shows on the TV. And that way we can both watch our own shows and we both have a large screen to actually enjoy our content on. Now, one thing to add that even though the screen does have a headphone jack on the side, you don't actually have to use that when you're mirroring something to the screen. For example, with me, when I stream Netflix from my phone to this device, I still connected my Bluetooth headset to my phone and I still listen to all of the audio through my phone on my Bluetooth headset and I never actually use the actual headphone jack on the side of the screen itself. Now, the audio from the screen is fairly loud. It's not the loudest, so it can be used fairly comfortably in less noisy situations, but if you're getting into more noisy situations, the two one watt speakers do struggle a little, but in general cases, if you're using it at home, you can easily rely on those speakers and you don't have to actually plug in headphones or use wireless headsets with whatever you're connecting it to. You can simply use the speakers that is on the device itself and it should be satisfactory. The Asus Zen Screen Go is a fantastic little monitor, and in all honesty, it is aimed at anybody who's looking for a small and easy to use monitor that is also portable. Now for me, I can definitely see the value for anybody who's looking for a monitor like this. And if you're looking to purchase one, I have left links to those down in the description below. And if you have any questions on this monitor, feel free to ask me down in the comment section below. And then as always, if you wanna check out more videos or more ASUS videos, I've left them here on the side as well as in the cards. So do go and check those out. And then until next time, cheers.